Joining us now is our NFL insider. That would be senior writer for NFL.com, Judy Batista. And folks, we all know during the offseason, football players have generated plenty of headlines, both good and bad. That leads us to this discussion, and we're calling this the responsibility of an NFL athlete. And Judy, when I think about athletes taking a proactive stance for things off the field, it's usually under the category of stick to sports. That's the attitude that most in the public have. Your thoughts about that, particularly when you look at J.J. Watt, who's using that platform for good, he was aiming to raise how much money? Uh, 200000 is what it started. And at the time we're doing this show, it is at? Just past $20 million. Contrasting that with Colin Kaepernick expressing his First Amendment rights and the reaction to that. Your thoughts? Well, obviously, nobody would suggest that J.J. Watt should be sticking to sports right now. He is doing remarkable work for Houston. I guess the question I have, and I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about it, is if, if you say that it's great that J.J. Watt is using the platform to blast the, the megaphone onto an issue that he cares about and that he thinks deserves our attention, can you then turn around and criticize Colin Kaepernick for using his platform to get attention on um, an aspect of society that he thinks needs attention? So let me ask you this, when you talk about what J.J. Watt is doing, so if an athlete, whether it was Jackie Robinson, whether it was Muhammad Ali, whether it was Jim Brown and the black athletes in 67 uh, gathering in Cleveland, if, in fact, they feel that which they are protesting or trying to bring some attention to is a significant matter that is beyond just them, should they not be citizens of this country and speak to that aside from the fact, irrespective of the fact that they're athletes? Look, let's be clear about this. There's no way Colin Kaepernick would have gotten as much attention onto the issue of police brutality if he had done it away from the field, if he had held a press conference. Kneeling for the national anthem or sitting during the national anthem got all of the cameras and got all of the attention on it. If that's what he wanted to do, which is what, it, what he did want to do, he was successful. There's no freedom from consequence. I think we know that. He's got his right to, to do whatever he wants. There's going to be consequences. I have to admit that as a reporter, I'm startled that he has not been signed. I have been told ever since I started covering the NFL that talent wins out. We've seen teams take chances on a lot of unsavory characters. The fact that this is what has tipped over and they can't come to grips with signing a guy who has kneeled for the national anthem, but, but, you've, signed, have... but you've signed guys who have had enormous legal issues and they've been embraced by teams and they've been embraced by fans. I find that curious. Judy, have you, have you even spoken to Colin Kaepernick in the last no. six months? Who has? So, Nobody has. And, and, and Maybe your, you and, have. Yeah, no, and to your point, when me and Steve Bashadi was talking, this is what we're talking about, Judy. We're talking about giving this kid an opportunity to get back in the National Football League. Look, this is what I wanted to share with people. I have been fighting for this kid behind the table like nobody has. Nobody had this kid a job in the National Football League. I can raise my hand and say I did. I've never been against Colin Kaepernick, but I am against the way he done it. And I think this is where we should get, Boomer. I can disagree with how he did it. That's, that should be perfectly fine. But then his girl goes out and puts out this racist gesture and doesn't know. To be clear, whose girl, whose lady? Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. he, that she doesn't know. We're in the back office about to about to try to get this guy to sign. Steve Bashadi has said himself, how can you crucify Ray Lewis when Ray Lewis is the one calling for Colin Kaepernick? I'm on the phone with this guy. So to your point, that's what I'm talking about, the fraternity of our league. Judy, I have fought for get kids who's done bad things and, and been looked at the, the wrong way. But I don't talk to the people who can't get things done. I go to the decision makers. And the decision makers in this one were Steve Bashotti and Ozzy Newsom. And the only thing that went bad, the only that, thing that went bad was that image where she tried to make us a racist in the individuals. And that's the sad part about this story. And I listened to all of these things everybody wanted to say about me. People even spoke about my kids. And nobody so, never said, wait, I never said one wait, thing about Colin wait, Kaepernick. Clearly, you're, you're frustrated by the way you've been characterized in this. I'm what in if, L.A. stand up to 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning trying to get Colin Kaepernick a job. Because that's what Ray Lewis does. Do you so feel that the Ravens a... were that close to signing him? I don't have to feel, J.B., when they call me, it's, it's to say yes or yes. no. 
And you felt they were calling you to say... Steve, we were going to close the deal. To sign him. To sign him. All we wanted to hear was hear Colin Kaepernick speak. Did you ever hear hear him speak? Steve Bashadi said, I want to hear Colin Kaepernick speak to let me know that he wants to play football. And what What I've been saying for the last six months. Because of that picture that comes out the next day. So if not for that text message, if not for that post. Tweet. The tweet. tweet, Pardon me. The tweet. You think he would be a Baltimore then Then he's flying him to Baltimore. I'm sitting with all three of us, and we're all having a conversation about bringing Colin Kaepernick in. Then he'd be the backup quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens. You know, because of which, <laughs> No, he would be. Uh, you know, because there's yeah. The Baltimore Ravens, there, there's so few organizations that could handle it. They would be one. Mm-hmm. One, because of Ozzie Newsom, you two, Ray, and I think the coach understands, you know, just the, the whole uh, culture down there. They would have handled it, kept the press, and because not let the, it ma- make it such a distraction for a backup quarterback. Because of the things that we've been through in that organization. Right. I took my story personally, JB, and I told them these words. I told we will have to protect this kid the way we protected me. We can't let the media just come at this kid and say anything about this kid. We got to make sure he's not tweeting nothing crazy. We got to make sure he's not wearing the wrong police shirts to practice. All of these things. How come, you know, I hate to say this to you. Well, I'm going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Why haven't I heard this story before? Because really. Because everybody wanted to tell their own story about what me and Shannon got into an argument about signing Colin. And he's talking about police brutality. And I'm like, so so listen to this. Because I thought it would be a done deal. But this is the only thing that frustrates me a little. A bit. I live police injustice. I lived it. So for somebody to tell me that I'm racist, no, what I found out was I found out that all cops are not bad cops. And I found out that all people that works for the system are not bad people. Right. But you can't put everybody in one box. There's not one word you can ever find where I criticize and say, I don't like Colin Kaepernick and I think it's terrible. I've never said it. So let me just say this. Clearly, this issue is not going to wane. It will continue. There's Mm -hmm. going to be a lot more to be said. I appreciate your passion on this, and I agree with you and Boomer both. I've often said and advocated to the people who have his ear, he, Colin Kaepernick, needs to speak because if he wants to play football, all these other issues have been attached to him because he's the face of it, then he ought to be clear to speak to it himself and not have everybody else speaking to him, which is only adding to the confusion.